morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would film an everyday makeup look. I don't normally wear makeup every single day. The days that I do, I like to go really light, dewy and glowy. So I thought I would film that for you today. Okay, so let's get started. So I've just got out of the shower and what I would do normally after getting out of the shower is moisturise my face. So the moisturiser that I am going to use is the Liz Earl. It's the uh, Liz Earl Skin Repair Moisturiser for dry and sensitive skin. I do suffer with a little bit of eczema, so this one works really, really well for my skin type. So I'll just take a little bit of that and rub it into my hands and then just apply it to my face. Okay, so now that I've moisturised my face, now what I'm going to do is moisturise my lips. So the lip balm that I will be using is the Lip Balm by Le Mer. really, really like this lip balm. It is quite expensive, but I really feel like it really moisturises your lips, so <laughs> I would definitely recommend this one. Okay, so now that I've moisturised my face and my lips, I am now going to go in with a primer. The primer that I do like to use is the Becca um, Black Light Priming Filler. So it's this one here, you can see. So I prefer to use this rather than a foundation. It's a lot lighter and it gives your skin a really lovely dewy look. So I'll take this and I will use a, like a domed brush, just this one here, um, and apply this all over the skin. So I'll take about two pumps of this on the back of my hand and then just start applying that all over my face. So now that's all blended in, I am now going to go in with concealer. I do want to go for a really light look today because it is quite hot outside. So I want to keep it really fresh, dewy um, and glowy. So the two concealers that I will be using is the uh, Nazis Creamy Concealer and this is in the shade Custard. And then the second one I will be using is the MAC Mineralize Concealer in the shade NW15. This concealer is a little bit light for my skin tone, so that's why I'm mixing the two together. So all I will do now is just apply some concealer to the dark circles under my eyes, and then any blemishes that I have around my face just to even out any redness. So I'll go in with the NARS one first just to correct any areas because it is the closest to my skin color. And then what I'll do is just go in with the MAC concealer and apply this just to my under eyes because it is so bloody light. Um, and I don't know why I've put it there, but just decided to, so. <laughs> um, so then all I'm gonna do is take a damp beauty blender, this little tiny one that I, I don't even know where I got it from, but this little tiny one, and then just start blending that into my under eyes. So now that's all blended out, I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows. So I picked up this great little duo from, uh, it was the airport, I was on my way to India and I had took a little look in Boots and found this little, little duo. Um, so it's the L'Oreal Paris Brow Gel Pomade. So at the bottom it's got your pomade there. Um, and then at the top it's got this really cool little brush and I think this is really great if you are traveling because you can just pop it in, you don't need to take a load of brushes with you. So. so the first thing that I will do is just take a spoolie, brush my brows through just to make sure that they're all going in the same direction. And then what I'll do is go in with the pomade, take the little small end, use that and start doing little brush strokes in my brows. So uh, let's get on with it. In. All I'll do now is just go through with the with the spoolie just to even out the product and make sure that it's all evenly dispersed. So
Now my eyebrows are all done, I'm going to move on to eyeshadow. So because I want to keep this look really fresh and dewy, I'm going to use a shimmery eyeshadow. This just really brings out the look and keeps the skin looking really fresh and glowy. The eyeshadow I will be using is this L'Oreal Paris Shimmery Eyeshadow and this is in the shade 829 Amber Rush. And this is like a really beautiful rose gold colour. So I'll just do a little swatch for you. I hope that you can see this okay. So as you can tell, it's just like a really beautiful rose gold colour. And I think it just really adds something to the eyes. And then especially when you haven't got a lot going on on the skin, you really want to draw attention to your eyes. So this is a really beautiful colour. So to apply this, I'm just going to use just a small paddle brush and just apply that all over the lid. And then what I'll do afterwards is just go in with a big blending brush and then just blend out the edges to make sure that there's no harsh lines. Also, this makeup look is really quick and easy to do. You can literally do it in about five minutes. There's not a lot involved. Probably the longest amount of time is, is the eyebrows, so. <laughs> And then we're just going to go in with a big fluffy, why can I never say that word, fluffy, fluffy blending brush and I'm using the Morphe E23 and then I'm just going to gently blend uh, those edges out. Okay, so now that's all done, what I'm going to do now is move on to blush, just want to bring a little bit of colour back into the cheeks. So the blush I will be using is this Milani one. I think I probably just bought this for uh, the packaging <laughs> rather than the actual colour of it. I think the packaging is just so beautiful with this lovely little rose on it as well. So great packaging. Um, so yeah, so this is the shade 08 T Rose. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and apply that to my cheeks just to add a little bit of colour back into the skin. So all we've got left to do now is to curl my eyelashes, apply some mascara and then we're good to go. And then I've just got to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair and what on earth I'm going to wear as well. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I am using the um, these ones from Sephora. I've no idea what they're called. Just pick them up um, and I love them. They, they work so well. And then I'm going to go in with my absolute fave mascara, which is this Lancome one. And then all I'm going to do is just apply a little bit more lip balm. And this is the makeup look complete. So one thing that I will do is go back in with my eyelash curlers once my eyelashes are dry. I'll use these and then apply a little bit more mascara. And this just for some reason helps to keep my eyelashes curled for the rest of the day. And it's just a little tip and trick that I thought I would share with you. Um, so yeah, so this is the makeup look now complete and I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair um, and then figure out what I'm going to wear. So this is definitely my go-to hair look when I can't be bothered to dry my hair and straighten it. It's just really easy, really simple and really good to, to do if your hair's wet as well. It just really smooths everything down. So what I'll do is smooth my hair down with one of these brushes. I will then pop it in a low ponytail and then what I'll do is I'll just go in with some hair gel and just smooth all of these bits down. I think hair gel works a lot better than hairspray, especially when trying to keep that sleek smooth look so this is how I achieve this hair look so I'll just apply that really get all of those little baby hairs down and then all I will do is just go back in with this brush and then just re 
smooth out all those edges again. Okay, so now my makeup and hair is done. I've just got to try and figure out what on earth I'm going to wear. So here is the finished outfit. So I just decided on some jeans. Um, I think these ones are from Reese. And then just like a bodysuit, a white bodysuit with this little denim jacket thing from Zara. And then I thought I'd bring some shorts with me so that if it is really hot today, I can pop them on instead of the jeans. But for now, just got these jeans on, this white bodysuit, and then this jacket. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching. I really enjoyed filming. I know I haven't filmed in ages, so I definitely want to start, <laughs> I'm so out of breath, just ran downstairs and ran back up. Um, but yes, so I really want to start filming again, so I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.